Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another hunting video. Today's video is going to be... Well, we're going to start off a little bit different. I'm going to show you the missions that we're going to do. And then we're going to jump into a video. So, today's mission, because we're doing three missions at the same time. I don't remember, like, the names and I you know, kind of forget the names of the missions that I'm doing. I know what I need to do, but I don't know the names of the missions. So today's mission is going to be Twilight Aria, which is identify a call from a male elk and a female elk, and we get 200 GMS from this one. The other one is Renegade. We need to harvest two female elks, and we also get 200 GMS from this and the final one for the whitetail is harvest a whitetail buck using a 44 magnum we also gonna have that and that one is gonna pay 26,000 gms or 2600 gms sadly this is gonna be the last mission for the whitetail uh until i buy uh more uh weapons um for the whitetail which is the 3030 the 270 the side by side and uh, I'm guessing I'm missing another one but as soon as we do this on the next video I'm gonna be able to show you the weapons that I need to buy to complete the final mission on the whitetail sadly uh, I don't have them so this is how it's gonna be so we're gonna do these three missions and of course we're gonna go to um, Red Feather Falls because it's it's been it's been a nice experience in Red Feather Falls. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. So let's start in the right lodge, do our elk circle, and then we're gonna deal with the uh, white tails. Right. So it looks like we're gonna do the white tail mission first. We have a white tail calling from front. So he should be next to the river. And it doesn't say how big the whitetail needs to be. Just needs to be a whitetail uh, buck. So I don't know uh, if you can cross the river right there. But I'm gonna guess not. So he should be alongside the shore on the riverbank. Oh, there he is, right there, right in front. All right, so we can move a little bit closer. Although I don't like using the scope on the 44 because it kind of makes you miss a lot of shots. And you aim higher than you're supposed to. I like using iron sights with the 44, but just just for this shot, I'm gonna use it scoped. And I'm gonna try to have a range on him. See how far away he's 50 meters away. So we're gonna try to see if we can get a front shot. Great, I lost him. Oh, he's moving. Okay. So, 50 meters should be roughly on point. Let's check it out. Let's see. I'm going to aim right between the cross and the little pin. And he's down. Perfect. And you see on the crosshair, aiming between the cross and the little uh, pin on the b before the circle. Uh, I think the it's like eh, 75 meters, I think, uh, right between the pins. 
and I think the crosshair is actually 50 meters so in this shot uh, we were aiming roughly at the chest let me see if I can find the oh come on let me see if I can find the red dots no but I'm gonna guess that we m nailed pretty much in the heart and our lungs yeah pretty much straight on shots he's also a 140 so that's nice that is rather nice so let's see if we can have a okay so he we were aiming somewhere here and the shot went right up in the neck so I don't know still I still I really I really have I really don't like using scope in the 44 like I said you aim higher than you're supposed to and that sometimes can make you miss shots that you don't normally you, you normally won't do all right so now we need to find a rosy elk and male and that would be that would be a wrap for this uh, video all right so we got a call from a female and game didn't update so alt tab and there we go so now we need to get now I'm hoping that's a herd of at least six females and I'm gonna hope that I can nail at least one and then the other one if it's injured I really don't care I could easily track her track her down and you know harvest but I really need to get two elks oh there's another one to the left so we can potentially get two rosies right now it's like she's yeah she's within range yep she's down Oh, looks like this is actually a herd of rosies. Good, 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 good. We just need to actually get another one. And we're golden. Now we just need to find a male. And there you go. That's, that's going to be a wrap. Okay, now I think we can scare off the other ones because we don't need anything else from this herd So we're just gonna leave we're just gonna let them go Unless there was a male which I doubt So here we go two rosies next shots. Oof No wonder she dropped straight away All Right, that's one down another one to go and this one completes the renegade mission and now it just need a buck or a bull I don't know which one you you are supposed to call if it's a bull or buck on the Roosevelt's All right so we have a mail call and the game didn't register so we need to do a little trick of tabbing out back into the game there we go that does it now I have two problems one I only have one arrow right now available I do also have I do have a pack another pack of arrows in the backpack so my question is Is there a big male that can beat a 386 scoring male in the herd? Because that's that's the biggest Roosevelt elk I have 
uh, gotten to this day. So that is actually my two concerns right now is... Are we going to get a big Roosevelt Elk that tops the scoring one that I already have? And two, can I actually make uh, the shots count? Well, I do see two Rosies right there. And that's the big one that I want to get. he didn't see me so that gives us more time to more time to stay hidden oh that one's gonna run away Damn it. But I don't see the rest of them. They probably just spooked. Yeah, definitely. But this one sure wasn't the big one. Hmm. Definitely not the big one. Yeah, 217. Not big. This one. <laughs> long shot. Double long. Nice. 184. And this was a body shot, of course. There's one that didn't run away? Did they got separated? Really? So, so this means means that this one could actually be the big one. Because he was on the right side. He was on the right side. But no, he, he isn't the big one. So that's just that that's gonna leave two others to track. I mean if if we manage to get this one down in one shot. Yeah, that this one isn't the big one. Really, dude? Yeah, okay, that, I guess that, that also works. Alright, so that leaves two animals to track down. And since I don't want to end the video on half of the herd being taken down, might as well just get the rest of the... Guess the re get the rest of the herd. There he is, he's right there. And you're you're under wonder, wondering why and how did you manage to see him even though he didn't call. Uh easy. Uh you see that little tracer that he has on the neck sticking out? Yeah. A red in between all the greens, it's gonna be you know, really easy to spot. <laughs> Plus, you have to always keep your eyes open first, and then you have to keep your ears open. That's that's the number one rule that I learned when when I played a sniper in Team Fortress 2. Keep your eyes open, 
and then keep your ears open. But firstly, the eyes, because uh, if you don't know what Team Fortress is, it's a it's a team-based shooter with classes, and there's one class, the Spy, that has a cloaking ability, and if he bumps into your teammates, the enemy, you can see like a little uh, outline or a little sh a little shimmer. There you go, he's down. So he, he becomes like, uh, he has like a little silhouette telling that he's, uh, he, that he's cloaked. So when you're playing a sniper, you kind of keep your eyes open for that, because that's a big tell that he's definitely going to try to kill you from behind. We found him. Wow. Found the last survivor. He is somewhere right in front, so he should be here. Yep. He should be right in front. So let's see if we can get eyes on him. Because I'm pretty sure that this one is the big one. Unless. Oh, look, there's a pick, pick me up. Oh, there he is. I'm pretty sure that this one is the big one. Nope, it's the small one. Okay. Seems a little bit unfair, to be honest, that we didn't get a big one. It's a shame, it's a shame, but, well, I guess that's how hunting goes and the uh, RNG goes. Sometimes you get a big one, sometimes you get small ones, and this one was a rather small one. Let's see, an 80, yeah, barely paid for the arrow that I used to take him down, but still. It was a good uh, tracking experience. So guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe, like, click that notification bell. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Until then, good hunting and peace.